the newsrooms. And here are your news headlines read by the Flying Dutchman. Changi Airport has been dethroned as the world's best airport in a new ranking by London-based research firm Skytrax. It ceded the top spot to Qatar's Hamad International Airport in Doha, which also won in 2021 and 2022. South Korea's Incheon International Airport is third. Changi, however, was named the best airport in Asia, as well as the best in the world for its immigration service. The awards are based on a global survey Skytrax conducted from August 2023 to February this year. In other news, the body of the Singaporean woman who went missing in Spain has reportedly been found. Spanish media say that a suspect has been arrested who is a Singaporean man. 39-year-old Audrey Fang had been holidaying alone in the coastal town of Sabia in the province of Alicante. The architect left her hotel on April 9th at about 8.45 p.m. Kiss Night 2, all the great songs in one place. It's Glenn, Angel, and Daphne. We are coming to you from the wonderful O'Reilly's Rainforest Retreat. It's such a pity that we're only here for one night. Uh, we did get to experience a little bit of what O'Reilly's offers. Uh, we're going to be playing a, you a quick video right now of our experience yesterday on the segues with Dion, who was absolutely fabulous. That's right. And then we got to feed some of the birds. I will definitely be back. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Let's go. Let's roll this. Okay, so this is where we got dropped off. This is mm -hmm. the reception. And um, further down is where the... Let's take yes. oh, right. yeah, There you go. That's this is Dion. where Dion was uh, teaching us how to, how to operate yeah. the... He looks like he's going really fast, but he's not really. We sped it up. And that's me with my first go on the Segway. Not too hard, actually. Um, and you've always wanted to do, do bucket this, list. Right? Bucket list for me. There is Daphne. <laughs> Trying to turn. <laughs> going around this is in me circles. putting my whole weight into turning. And that's Glenong. Yeah, about to roll over Dion. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's us through the yeah, forest. It's such a beautiful rainforest trail uh, that they take you on. In the Lamington National Park. It's absolutely beautiful. Do you beautiful. know that there's a harder trail? Dion was telling me. He said yeah, a narrow yeah. one, right? Yeah, but we'll have to go through a few more lessons in order okay. to do that. Okay. Oh, because it's more terrain, I guess. The air is so clean. It's so crisp. It's so quiet up here. Yeah, who's holding on to the camera here? That was Dion. That was Dion. <laughs> he was helping us film, yeah. He was getting us the shot. He knew. He Look at us go. Oh, like this is feeding the bird. Okay. These are the king parrots as well. Uh, as that, oh, yeah, you that's are not a king afraid of as well. any animal, Angel. Uh, that no, I know no, I'm only afraid of cockroaches. That's it. And that's not really an animal, is it? Oh, there you go. Uh, wait, hold on. There, those are thing? the king parrots. The There's roselles? Also, there, there were so many crimson roselles as well. There were quite a few of those, yeah. And so cute. You know, a couple of them were, were fighting. They came on yeah, my yeah. <laughs> and they were like fighting a little bit. And I, I mean, if you, if, you, if you stay here at O'Reilly's Rainforest Resort, in fact, if you're watching us on the Big Show TV, just stay tuned because we've got some of our bird friends behind us on the perch. <laughs> uh, we've got the king parrots. We've got the crimson roselles right behind us. They're so beautiful. Yeah. The one that's on Angel's hand, oh, and, and yours. on my hand. You're oh, gonna see. And there's one on Daphne's head right now. You, you'll see it as well. <laughs> <laughs> right now. <laughs> and we're gonna introduce you to our very first guest in just a while. That's right. Our adventure guide. Oh, she oh is, uh, there you well, go. She calls herself a bird nerd. She's a bird nerd. She's, she's a bird activities whisperer. guide here. <laughs> Jackie Get ready will for be. Jackie Buzzetti. Yeah, she'll be joining us on the Big Show TV. So much fun. Um, this is really a place for all ages. Bring the entire family. Uh, oh, this is me off to the spa, which is located in a different building. As, and I mentioned that window earlier that looks out to the mountains, the rainforest, as well as that heated infinity pool. Don't expect to see too much here because we cut the camera right about now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but did you get manage to get into the tub? I did not get into the tub. I had a one-hour deep tissue massage with Karen, wow. uh, my therapist from uh, South Africa. Like just this look at the, the surroundings. Pool. Look at the pool. Wow. Absolutely. The view gorgeous. is insane. you got to come here, Singapore. 
Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, okay, you go. here you go. Back on the Big Show TV. Look at all the birds behind. And this is Jackie Busetti, our adventure guide. Good morning, Jackie. And bird nerd. Jackie, uh, the birds love you. Oh, I love the birds. We'll have you with the microphone if that's possible. Yeah, of course. I can hold that one. Are you okay with that? <laughs> I think he's all right with that. He's all right. That's a king parrot. So this is a female king. Oh, actually, it's a juvenile. Excuse me. It's a juvenile male king parrot. Okay. Currently looking like <laughs> one of the females, but <laughs> when they grow up, they get the redheads, like the ones behind us here, causing quite the fuss right now. <laughs> oh, they get the... Oh, Hello. there you go. Hi. <laughs> Can I borrow your... Thank you. You want yeah. a cap. This, this must be such a treat for everyone who's watching right now. <laughs> I guarantee you. I want to get some seed. No yeah. one has oh, ever oh. seen anything like this. <laughs> Yes. Okay, on the Big Show TV. Oh, here at O'Reilly's, this is what we see every day. <laughs> every single day. Awesome. <laughs> I think, I think oh. O'Reilly's Rainforest Retreat is perfect for the family. Um, you know, if you want to bring your kids here, there <laughs> oh, are so there many you activities. Go. So clever you are. You know, one. which we'll be talking about. And later on, we'll be having the uh, retreat manager, Brendan Long, on the show as well. And he'll tell you why you should come and visit O'Reilly's. Look at this guy. Everyone needs to experience O'Reilly's. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah. So this is the king so parrot right here eating out It is a king parrot, a wild king parrot. So and we've got some of the red and blue one, one on your shoulder. That's the crimson, crimson rosa? rosella. Oh. Correct. Oh, 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 don't fight, don't fight, guys. Don't fight. Rosella. <laughs> <laughs> now, what are the small ones called? I see some really small birds. I mean, in, in Singapore, um, we would say like a sparrow. Oh, okay. We have scrub wrens here. Yeah, lots of scrub wrens, scrub quite wrens. small birds. We have robins. And um, we're also really famous for our bower birds and our paradise rifle birds. How many, uh, how many species of birds are there here in Lavington National Park? Would Over you say? 160. We yeah. are a premier bird watching destination worldwide. <laughs> and you can see why. I mean, just look at this. Where else do you get to get so close to these wild you want birds? Some seeds? Sure. Yeah. So, so when Singaporeans come down, Right? Uh, where can they get the bird seeds from? Oh, we supply it right here at our cafe and gift shop. Oh, okay. that's on my head. He's giving me a good head massage. Oh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, Glenn, can you get it off my head? Thank you. <laughs> okay. Oh. You guys had enough? <laughs> no, it's absolutely well. How long have you been here, Jackie? Oh, I've been here for a couple of years working with the team in the activities department guiding people through the rainforest. But I also heard that you've been hiking up here since you were a kid. Yes. Like your whole life. Yeah, this wow. was my backyard as a kid growing oh, up in this forest. Absolutely unreal. So what else would people do if they're not, uh, if they don't have birds on their heads? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there is so much to do Oh up my here. goodness, I'm being invaded. You are. Wow. It's getting out of control. It Look, is. Whether you want to come up here to Hello. relax. Oh, yeah, they're all gone. Um, That's the alarm. What scared them? One of the birds sounded an alarm call. Oh, saying what though? It, he could be notifying them of danger. So oh. look up. There could be. There's a goshawk. Oh, there's yeah. a hawk. Goshawk. Oh wow! Did wow. you see that? Yeah. So, so what does the read. what does the alarm sound like? Oh, they just make a quick sound, a quick sharp call. Okay. And immediately they'll all duck for cover. But Amazing. They're but now, now they're, they're back. back. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It's kind of like me in the studio, you know, when I go, <laughs> the boss is coming. Uh, and everybody runs. <laughs> so, so the goshawk, uh, do they eat these birds? Are these their, their uh, prey? They do prey on these oh, birds. Right, yeah. Okay. yeah. You get so up close to nature here, you see the whole thing. And you get to meet the goshawks. We have them on show every day at one o'clock here too. You get to meet wedge-tailed eagles, goshawks, and other birds of prey um, in, in a setting like you wouldn't get to experience anywhere else. I have never experienced anything like this, and I don't think radio <laughs> has experienced say. anything like this. This, this is amazing. This is absolutely amazing right now. Oh, my goodness. I'm Glenn, telling you, Glenn, we've got like a few thousand people who are viewing us. Uh, I think so as well. From O'Reilly's uh, Rainforest Retreat. Jackie, you were telling me earlier on that you have a, a, a guided um, a bird tour in the morning. Oh, yeah. Every morning we start by feeding the birds so we do a guided walk we can meet 20 or 30 different species of birds first up and it's the perfect way to start the day before you head off to breakfast and then go about your other activities it is it yeah. is and let me just tell you o'reilly's serves up 
the most amazing breakfast buffet. And Absolutely. Yeah, even dinner. Like, we had dinner last night. Some of your wines. Delicious. We took our red wine and sat by the by the campfire. Beautiful. Uh, absolutely lovely experience. Uh, if you like a little bit of a change of climate, but it's not too uncomfortably cold, this is a really nice spot if you find yourself in Brisbane. 100%. This place is perfect all year round. Once again, <laughs> O'Reilly's Rainforest <laughs> Retreat. Up next, Cesari, this is In Secret. No? Oh, we are on the big. We are on the big show TV. We're yeah, not we're on not air on yet. Air yet. Um, oh my do, goodness! Do I these we were on do air. these birds? Also, we have these some of these types of birds, like these parrots in Singapore. And what they do is they fortune tell. Do any of these <gasps> tell your fortune? Really? They flip cards. Yes. Oh my They goodness. do. They've been trained to flip cards. Not so these guys, though. No, no. They're, but they're parrots. Oh wow! They're, they're parrots. I thought they were budgerigas. I think they have them both. Um, and and what they do is mostly in Chinatown. Uh, you'll you'll pay the guy some money and 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 the parrot's been trained to flip random no cards. Way. <laughs> wow! Oh, we need to start doing yeah. some um, some bad fortune telling. Fortune telling. Yeah. <laughs> Just for the fun of it. Oh, Who yeah. needs fortune cookies if you're gonna have fortune birds? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Angel is just loving. Okay, I love we're this. going on air now. Okay, top of the hour. Let's get the birds back. Oh, oh there, there you go. go. There, another the call. sounded Another once call. Again. Oh, they need to come back, though. Give me some bird seeds. All the great songs in one place. Kiss 92. G'day, and welcome to the big show, live from Down Under. You'd be hopping mad to miss it. Good morning and welcome to The Big Show and The Big Show TV. We started The Big Show TV a little bit earlier. And for those of you who are watching, I'm sure you had a wonderful time. <laughs> you know, watching all the birds land on our heads. We were feeding the birds and I'm sure they'll be back shortly. They, they just left for a, 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 a toilet break. break. Yes. Angel's been putting more bird... <laughs> Bird, what is it? Seed? Bird seed, yeah. Bird in, seeds fact, in, hands. in fact, uh, we suddenly saw all the birds fly away, and our guest uh, on the show right now, Jackie, actually told us why. Good morning, Jackie, and thanks so much for joining us. Oh, good morning. Thanks for having us. Good so morning. This is Jackie Bazzetti, the activities guide right here at O'Reilly's Rainforest Retreat. Thank you for joining us. And self proclaimed bird nerd. Yeah. <laughs> bird nerd. So tell, yeah. us, tell us why all the birds uh, flew away at once. Oh, well, these guys, they set off an alarm to let each other know that there's danger about. And just like that, they will take off and run fly for cover. So we had a goshawk, which is a bird of prey, circling just above where we're broadcasting from right now. And set off the alarm, got all these guys out immediately, but they're back, as you can see. So they don't um, leave a very one long. One each. <laughs> <laughs> you have to watch us on the Big Show TV because Daphne, Glenn and myself each have a bird on our head. Um, you got to jump on YouTube and Facebook to watch us right now. This makes for a great photo, by the way. <laughs> Oh, how long have you been here, Jackie? As I have a bird's tail in my face. <laughs> so I grew up in this area, hiking around here. This was my backyard. And for the last couple of years, I've been working up here as an activities guide, which is amazing because I get to show people who come and visit, like you all, what amazing things we have out here in the rainforest. It's so much fun every day. So I think I have a, 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 a perf the perfect travel tip if you're going to come up here and feed the birds. Wear a hoodie or a hat yes. because they're going to land on your head and it may not be very comfortable for everyone but I've got my hoodie up and it's a lot more comfortable because they were scratching my head earlier I like it though I like <laughs> the feel of, of, of the claws and long skin. sleeves <laughs> might be might be they're, a good tip as they're well they're drawing some blood from you Glenn yeah. <laughs> it's okay I love these birds all right. yeah. these king parrots are quite large and they're quite bossy so they're not shy uh, Jackie you're also an activities guide uh, what else can people do when they're not having birds feed out of their hands <laughs> Well, a lot of the time you will have birds around you somewhere. You start the day with the bird walk and you can go out hiking, do nice, beautiful walks throughout the forest. We take you and show you around. Uh, whether you're an adrenaline junkie or not, we've got some e-bikes and segways, some more rush activities that are good fun. We also have uh, glowworms here. We've got bioluminescent animals living in the forest. We've got lots of nocturnal marsupials. So we do guided tours to show people everything that's in the rainforest here. It's so much fun and oh. it's 
suitable Ow! for everyone. You bit my finger. <laughs> Stop biting my finger. Oh my gosh. Literally. Oh. Uh, wow. Okay, here he's here. trying to get the seeds yes. out from in the gaps. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, okay wow. let's continue to talk to Jackie and let's continue to beat the birds. Oh, there they go again. That was it. Again. Yep. Yeah, Predator oh. is uh, nearby. They'll okay. be back. It's not me. <laughs> <laughs> let's continue to talk to Jackie on the Big Show TV. Meantime, here's Itzy Untouchable on Kiss. Nutty too. Okay? Well, no, I'm good. <laughs> you might have ruined my nails. No, I'm joking. No. Um, <laughs> Jackie, Jackie, oh, yeah, don't I, want, I wanted to ask because, you know, there are some people that are a bit older and I was, you know, thinking about bringing my mom who doesn't walk too much. And would you say that this place has activities for um, people of any fitness level? Absolutely. Yeah, it's one of the best things about O'Reilly's. There is something for everyone whether you're bringing your kids and you're putting them in our Eco Rangers program where they get to do fun activities all day or whether you are a little bit older and you want to do simple things like bird watching or go on a guided four-wheel drive tour with us where we can show you around the property, take you to a bunch of lookouts that are just absolutely iconic, if I can say myself. <laughs> yeah, there's so much to do. Or, I mean, if you just want to kick back... We've got a day spa. You can book the kids in for some fun and the adults can go and enjoy a glass of wine and some massages. Oh, so they have activities for kids. You can leave the kids in, in one There's spot and then have yeah. them, the rest of the day to yourself. Yeah, oh. the Eco Rangers program, it's great. Uh, it, all ages. We've got something for everyone here. It's a family business, so we cater for families. I love that because I did see all the kids running around without the parents and they, were, they had these little sheets and I think they were going around maybe bird spotting and they yeah. have, you have an activity room as well for the children where yeah. someone watches over them. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're on a scavenger hunt right now. So good oh, luck nice. if you can find them. What, the children, right? Yeah, the children, <laughs> yep. They're out and about scavenger hunting. I'm sure their parents are really enjoying that. Their glass of wine yeah. maybe. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Jackie, I was saying just now that, um, you know, O'Reilly's is perfect all year round. Mm. But oh, yeah. in terms of the birds, which which time of the year is the best if people are coming here, especially for for the birds? Well, we have two birds every year, so we have our autumn and our spring bird week. <laughs> our our spring. You this is a baby. Something. This is a oh. baby. So he's asking for food. Oh, oh no. Okay. Where's, where's the seeds? Thought, yes, okay, yes. come. Oh no, you can't feed him. His mum has to feed him. Oh, I see. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And would you know which one the mama is? I don't. You wouldn't know. Mom, okay. paging mum. Paging mum. <laughs> where's your mum? He looks, <laughs> he looks quite big, though. Yeah, they come, they're pretty oh. big when they come out of the nest and they're flying around. They're pretty much the same size as the adults. But oh. honestly, you see that all year round. In spring, our birds are breeding and displaying. However, in saying that, we have other birds that migrate through different times of the year. This rainforest is forever changing. It doesn't matter what month of the year you come oh. here. There's something special going on. So you'll see different birds at different times of the year. Yes. So right now, uh, it's this is this group of birds? It's mainly the crimson. This is the local crimson. gang. Oh, the oh, local gang. Yeah. All year round. They're yeah, here all year round. Yeah, these okay. guys are regulars. Um, but we are coming into the season where our lyrebirds, which are endemic to this region and an iconic Australian bird, <laughs> He's hungry. Is your yeah. right. <laughs> they are starting to display. Uh, so that's an incredible sight to see. Honestly, it doesn't matter what time of the year you come. If you are a bird watcher, you are going to be in absolute paradise here. I wow. love it so much. Can you tell the gender of birds by just looking at them? Yes. Uh, these guys are a bit harder, the crimson rosellas, because the males and the females look the same. But you can tell that this is a boy and this here is a girl. How? How? Uh, <laughs> he has a larger head and a more prominent beak. She's a little bit more petite. I see. Yeah, oh, right. It, it's okay. hard to tell. Though. Yeah, she does look like a girl. Yeah. But it's, easy to, uh, it's easier to tell when they're together. It is. Right? Because you can compare them. Because you can right. compare them, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the king wow. parrots, the females generally have the green head, much easier to distinguish the difference. Um, and that is the case with a lot of our birds. The and males and the females will look different. Do they respond to affection or not really? <laughs> they respond to food. Okay. <laughs> so you can't, you can't pet them on the heads and stuff? No, you wouldn't recommend that, right? They, they don't really like it. You can try. No, that's okay. I already got bit once. <laughs> <laughs> and I wasn't I doing anything. I did it this morning. You know, I opened the door of um, yeah. uh, my the balcony. room. To go, yeah, into the balcony, and there was there was a crimson uh, Rosella, Rosella right there. And yeah. I tried to pet it, and it just kind of slowly just backed off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
have some food? He was probably hoping you'd have some snacks. Yeah, I what? wish I had some bird seeds. <laughs> what other kinds of wildlife can we expect to see on O'Reilly's? Oh, up here we have some really amazing species. Uh, so, like I said before, when we do our glowworm glow tours, worms, yeah. tours, yeah, we have glowworms up here. So we do have um, actually three forms of bioluminescence in nature. We have our glowworms, we get fireflies up here, we get uh, glowing mushrooms up here, which is absolutely is cool. Glowing mushrooms? Glowing yes, mushrooms? yes. Glowing mushrooms. You walk into the forest at night and there are glowing bioluminescent Why are we not thinking? For Wait, one more so night. I why know. do they glow? What makes them glow? Well, science is actually still trying to figure that out. Amazing. We don't, we don't know. actually know. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So are they, they are sure. they edible mushrooms? Oh gosh. I no. don't know. You mm, might you, glow. You are? <laughs> <laughs> I do like glowing. Someone in the dark, has definitely yeah. tried it. Someone I'm has sure. definitely tried it. <laughs> But oh. we have amazing marsupials here too. So squirrel gliders, feather gliders. We have possums up here. Um, quolls can be found up here, which are a very special Australian animal. Mm. They're endangered. So this is the type of place where you'd be lucky enough to see something as special as that. And also reptiles as well. So lots of snakes and lizards. But don't worry, I'm still alive. <laughs> yeah, I was going to ask. Yeah, are they? Are they're wild creatures, right? Because they're out in the in the wild. Absolutely. But they're safe to see from afar yeah <laughs> you'll be fine okay. <laughs> you'll be fine i, I was gonna ask because when i opened uh my my doors this morning i saw some food on the on the on the banister oh right I, I, maybe some fruit or something that the birds had brought or whatever it was but i'm sure you do get guests trying to feed the birds food that they're not meant to be eating so what would you recommend not to do if you come up here? Because some people can just get tempted just for that photo. Oh, or just, of course. You know. Yeah, of course. And that's why we supply food for the birds here that's designed for them. It's healthy for them mm. and it's germinated. That's the most important thing in our rainforest to ensure that we don't introduce any species of plants. And these guys, when they go to the toilet, that's what they're spreading. Yeah, so of course, we yeah. make sure that they can't spread anything from the food that we give them. And it's healthy for them too. And that's why we do our guided walks with the birds and we have our daily bird feeding. And you can purchase seed or receive some down here and feed them all around. Anytime basically. you want. They come yeah. to you. Yeah. They'll find you. <laughs> <laughs> what's find in, what's the in the seed? Oh, yeah. it's a it's mixture a mix. of mm. different types of seeds that they would normally eat in the wild and forage for. All right, okay. we're going back on air in 30 seconds. Okay. Okay. Wrap up. Okay. There you go. Lots of food. They're getting full, I think. I think that's impossible. Kiss Night 2, all the great songs in one place. It's Glenn Angel and Daphne. We're coming to you live from O'Reilly's Rainforest Retreat. And we've been speaking to Jackie Rossetti, the activities guide here. Once again, welcome and good morning, Jackie. Hi, it's been great. It, we're having fun with these birds here this morning, especially. Yeah, thank <laughs> yeah. you for this amazing experience. You know, we've been trying so many new things, but to do the show amongst birds on us and with us is a whole new experience. Angel is usually so professional. I mean, not that you're not being. Oh, usually well, you're not professional. You're so, no, 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 no. She's so usually like, she's unprofessional. No, thank she's you. always very professional, but mm. she's so captivated with the with the animals. I love animals. I, I think she was very unprofessional just now when she uh, when she screamed. Oh, she got bitten, got bitten oh, by the goodness. bird. I think she it's got, understandable. Yeah. Stop putting me in bad light. No, I've just light. never seen you so enamored. You yeah, know, no, I, I love it. What do you mean? She's just, enamored all the time when she sees me and FD in the morning. All right, I should have known it was going to take that turn. <laughs> those, those are morning eyes. You're not quite seeing what you're seeing. Uh, so, Jackie, t uh, tell us why people should come and experience O'Reilly's Rainforest Retreat. Oh, well, if they're watching, I'm sure that they can probably see a big part of it. Um, to be honest, there's an endless list of things, but we are a World Heritage National Park for a reason. It's an incredible and very special place out here. We have multiple activities to do. So as a family or couples or whatever your group might be, we have something for you. You come, you stay in our retreat, accommodation, day spa, restaurants and animals. Yeah, and I We've think got it all. I think it's a testament that you have spent 
you pretty much your whole life in different stages of your life here and you still love coming to work every single day. Yeah, I yeah. love it. I live here. Yeah, yeah they amazing. couldn't get rid of me. <laughs> you and live here. How, how lucky is that? So, so lucky. So you don't need to go down to the city. No. We have everything here. No, we have everything we need here. And it, I mean, that's why I say to people, come up here, book a few days if you're coming, because I promise you the thing I hear the most is I didn't have long enough. Yeah. Mm. There is so much to do. Yeah. I wish we had more time as well, because I would have loved to, to stargaze and uh, see those glowing mushrooms and the glowworms. Yeah. So we'll just much have to happen. come back. We It'll will just have better. to come back. No yes. work when we come back the next time okay. around. Okay, <laughs> done. You know, but basically our job here is to make sure people know about O'Reilly's Rainforest Retreat. And uh, the thing is, you know, we know for a fact many Singaporeans are watching us right now, but there are also people from all over the world who watch us on YouTube and Facebook. Good morning to our Malaysian friends, our friends from the USA. This is an amazing place to come to for a wonderful retreat. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Once again, it's O'Reilly's Rainforest Retreat. Thank you so much, Jackie, for joining us this morning. Thank you so much. It's been lovely. All right. It's 8.15. KISS 92 Time Check brought to you by Putin. Amazing. Okay, and now we'll have uh, Brandon. Yeah. Thank you, Jackie. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Jackie. That was amazing. That was wonderful. That was hectic. It yeah, was hectic. <laughs> it's a bit chaotic, but the show always is. So. <laughs> but that looks so good looks on screen. So good. It looked amazing oh on screen. I'm sure everyone watching was going like, is this really happening? Yes, yeah. it is. This is why I have my hood up. Thank goodness well, I've got my hoodie. We definitely had a spike. We had like 160. Oh, now it's, I mean... Okay, so good morning. We'd like to say to uh, the manager of O'Reilly's Rainforest Retreat, Brandon Long. Good morning, Angel. Good morning. How good are morning, you? Brandon. We're good. How are you? Very well, very well. How long have you been at O'Reilly's? This is my 10th year at yeah. O'Reilly's. Oh, okay. congratulations. Thank you. It's Thank such you. a, I mean, well, what is it like to manage a retreat like this? Well, I often think it's, uh, it's a good, uh, good place to have an office. It's, uh, <laughs> it's serene, it's relaxed. Of course, there's uh, responsibilities that go along with a place like this, but uh, it is such a serene, relaxed place. And I guess the key for me is the staff that work here want to be here. They love nature. They love the tranquility of the place. Uh, they live here. We've got 85 staff that live here on the mountain with us. Uh, so it becomes part of their lifestyle. So they become very easy to manage because they just like to be here. And it's a multinational uh, lineup of uh, staff you have here. Mm -hmm. I noticed their, their name tags. You know, it, it actually tells us where they're from. Where they're from, yeah. I met, I met uh, Beth yesterday, who's from uh, the Philippines. Philippines. And then yeah. I met Karen, of course, the uh, masseuse, who's from South Africa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, how many nationalities are there here? Gee, I haven't checked, Angel, but I would imagine <laughs> there'd be at least 15 different nationalities wow. here. Maybe after this, some Singaporeans as well. Well, indeed, <laughs> yes. We'd and why not? Huh? Yeah. Why wouldn't you want to work here? I would, I would take a gap year and work here for there you sure. Go. There you go. Well, the way you were managing those birds before, Daphne, I think we could sign you up. I, I don't know about me, angels. Bird do nerd, <laughs> bird nerd. <laughs> now, what is so special about O'Reilly's um, uh, rainforest retreat? Well, I think the history of the place is a key part of it. Uh, this is our 98th year. It all started back in 1911 when five brothers and three cousins of the O'Reilly family left the Blue Mountains of Australia and they came up here because the Queensland government of the time was selling off large tracts of land oh. very inexpensively couple of covenants around the purchase. The land had to be cleared and had to be used for primary production, farming, food mm. production. Mm. So the um, uh, government of the time, oh, so they decided uh, they would buy 800 acres between them, clear a fair portion of it, and turn it into a dairy farm. As you do in Australia. <laughs> which is the craziest thing yeah. in the world. Yeah. This is rainforest. They had to clear this dense, thick rainforest, turn it into a dairy farm, yeah. but against the odds, they did that successfully, which was quite extraordinary. And then just four years later, in 1915, the government came back, said, we like the look of this mountain, we're now going to turn it into a national park. So that's where we've got this unique relationship between a private enterprise right in the middle of a national park. Is it still owned by the O'Reillys? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. wow. Okay. So, so if you do come here, there is a family tree say. that's in the corridor yeah. uh, heading to, to the rooms. And it is... It is Absolutely beautiful. So how many generations is it now? So we're into the third generation okay. now that own and operate the business. 
Uh, we've got four members of the third generation that work full time for us. In fact, four members of the fourth generation that work wow. full time for us. Oh so there's eight goodness. members of the family still working here um, through the business. Amazing. Over Amazing. 100 staff in total. Yeah. So what can people do here at O'Reilly's? Well, I think that's one of the key aspects of it. They can do so many different things. Um, if we walk through just a, a, a typical day, uh, every day, as Jackie said earlier, every day at O'Reilly's historically starts with what we call early morning bird walk. 6.45 every morning, uh, we just have a leisurely stroll around the, uh, the rainforest here, feed the birds. Uh, it's a great experience for family uh, groups. Uh, so that starts the day. Breakfast follows. We've got a wildlife encounter every morning at 10 o'clock. So we have a really unique array of an animals, um, uh, hopping mice, sooty owls, hopping squirrel mice. gliders. Yeah. We can do that later after the show. Absolutely. Yes, we for sure. There's all those for sort sure. of things going on. <laughs> okay, um, we're going to go back on air. I'm going to ask you that same question, okay? One Republic with secrets right here on Kiss 92, all the great songs in one place. We are currently at O'Reilly's Rainforest Retreat, and we're going to be speaking to the retreat manager right now, Brendan Long. Good morning, Brendan. Good morning, Glenn. How are you this morning? We're very, very good. Thank you. slept you. well last night, I assume? Very well. Oh, my goodness. Very, goodness. very well. It was a little cold, uh -huh. but uh -huh. I had no idea that the air conditioner... <laughs> Doubled up as a heater yeah. as well. Uh -huh. Yeah, because uh -huh. so in I, Singapore, it never goes beyond 18 <laughs> yeah. degrees uh -huh. on, a, on your air conditioning. You. So yes. I had to layer myself a little bit, <laughs> a little bit last night. But I slept like a baby. Thank Beautiful. you very much yes. for Beautiful. So did I. Now, um, Brendan, could you tell us a little bit more about uh, the history of O'Reilly's for the people who are listening to us right now on the radio? Yes, it, uh, it's a unique history. It uh, all started way back. Uh, well, I guess if we go way back, it started here with the Yugambe Aboriginal tribe who hunted and gathered through this area in the early days. Come 1911, the O'Reilly family arrived. There were five brothers, uh, three of their cousins left the Blue Mountains of New South Wales, and they came up here because the Queensland government of the time was selling off large tracts of land, uh, quite inexpensively, um, to promote uh, food production. So the covenants around the purchase were you had to clear the land and uh, use it for primary production, food production. So the O'Reilly's boys created a dairy farm. Wow. Which is the craziest idea in the world. <laughs> from, a not, from a rainforest. From a rainforest. It's probably worth saying they were Irish, so it, uh, <laughs> let's read into that what you will. But uh, they did. They successfully cleared the land, cleared the dense, thick rainforest, walked the cattle up the mountain, started a dairy farm, uh, and successfully created a dairy farm. Just to add a little quirk to that history, though, they had to take the milk from here way down below to what's called the Kerry Valley to sell the milk. Right. Now, the only form of transport they had back in those days was horseback. Okay. Oh. Can you imagine what yeah. happened to the milk all the way down the mountain? It became oh, yogurt. Gosh. It turned into <laughs> a yogurt, butter, curdled milk, yep. milkshake, call it whatever you like. So they had variety in the store. Indeed. <laughs> yeah, well, the truth is uh, definitely 50% um, uh, of the time, by the time they got to the bottom, they couldn't sell it. Because oh, that would have been hours goodness. later. Exactly. Yeah. Wow, exactly. okay. And things changed four years later, 1915, the government came back again, said, we like the look of this mountain, we're now going to turn it into a national park. Mm. So that's when the Lamington National Park was created, 1915. And then it's fair to say the O'Reilly family didn't rush into their next decision, <laughs> but because the public had come to experience the National Park, to walk and camp and enjoy the National Park, they were looking for a warm meal mm. and somewhere to stay. So in 1926, the family did away with the farming and opened up what was then called the O'Reilly's Guest House. Wow, okay. Perfect. 1926, here we are. Uh, no, Almost a hundred years later. Just short of a hundred years. Wow, and this and this is where we are at right now. Correct. Okay, uh, when we go back on the Big Show TV, I want to ask you a little bit more about what you're doing for the environment because mm -hmm. I know you guys are big on ecotourism. Sure. 
And also, I've got a challenge for Brandon Ooh. coming up as well. It's the what it, on the Big Show TV. Yes, it's the Singlish versus Aussie slang <laughs> challenge. That's right. I, I've been chosen to. You uh, have been chosen because I can't do it. You you have to do it. Yeah, I can't do it either. I'm I not exactly help. the best help. when it you comes can. to Singlish. Okay, okay. Let's see what happens. Meantime, here's Akon with right now on Kiss ninety two. So, okay. Brandon, uh, we are situated in the Lamington National Forest. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It is known as the green behind the gold because uh, lots of people come to Brisbane and Queensland going heading straight to the Gold Coast, uh, surface paradise and, you know, movie world and places like that. With, and nothing wrong with that, but there's also a different side to it uh, with the ecotourism. Can you tell us a little bit more about what O'Reilly's is doing for sustainability? Yes, I think uh, you've just touched on one of the keys there, I think, Angel. I think one of the great features of O'Reilly's is the fact that uh, you can be on the beach this morning on some of the best beaches uh, in Australia, in the world, in fact, on the Gold Coast, and one hour and 15 minutes drive, you can be here in the dense rainforest in a completely different environment compared to that coastal environment. So, as you said, you can go to Movie World, Dream World, beautiful beaches, and then you're up here on, in the rainforest amongst the, the birds, the animals, fresh air and serenity. Mm. But so, to touch on your question, some of the things that we're doing to um, address sustainability, I think it's worth looking back historically. The O'Reilly family were doing sustainability way before it became a trendy thing wow. because the, this mountain was their livelihood. They, this, they had to survive off this mountain through its, uh, through its nature, uh, through its original farming, and then people came to see the mountain and the beauty of the mountain. So they were doing sustainability for, for uh, the last century, in mm. fact. On survi for survival. For survival, yeah, yeah just mm. to make sure that they, this mountain produced a uh, natural environment for guests to see and for them to survive off. Mm. They ran cattle here and, and uh, the cattle and sheep were part of the, the food that were produced uh, for their guests, etc. So uh, sustainability has been going on here for a very, very long time. I love yeah. it. Such perfect surroundings. Yeah, for sure. Love All right. it. Are you okay. ready for your challenge? Okay. 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 <laughs> Make sure I'm ready, but bring it, bring it on, Glenn. Thanks for nom oh. nominating me. Yeah, oh, yeah, you're you welcome. You know what? Since yeah. I'm, I'm in between both worlds, I can... Uh, Oh, you, you're you going to be the moderator. Yes, I will moderate. Is okay. what I, but Shalini is trying to say something to us. What is it? What are you trying oh, to say? No, nothing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> she says, okay. carry on, guys. Okay. So, uh, we do... Let's do three rounds. Three rounds. So, oh. so Glenn will say a singlish term. You have to guess. And then whether you get it right or not. And then you say an Aussie term and then Glenn has to guess. Okay. And we go from there. Uh, right. Prizes? The prizes? Uh, yeah, um, yes. Uh, you, you, yes. You, we uh, have kissed uh, you too much. Oh, oh, just yeah. for you. <laughs> yes. There you go. <laughs> You're going to walk away with that either way. <laughs> <laughs> Round one. Ding, 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 ding. Okay. okay. Singlish term. So this is Singlish. Chope. C-H-O-P-E. Chope. Chope. What does that mean? What do you mean? think that means? Can you tell me, is it, is it a noun or a verb? Uh, it is a... It wow. is a... It is a little bit both, actually. Yeah. It's an oh, action. Yeah. Yeah. It's, a, it's, an it's a noun. It's eat. I'm going to go with eat. Eat. Oh. Good guess. Choke. Good guess. Eat. Uh, let's no. use it in a sentence. Oh, okay. Okay, wait. First, I have to explain what it is. No, why don't, why don't, you, use, why don't you put it in a sentence and, and see if you can guess. guess. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to use this. Okay. I am going to choke that table in case someone else comes and takes it. Okay, so so sort of choose it to to as your own. Close. I'm going to use close. my glasses and chope that table so that nobody else place them on the table. Uh, almost. Yeah. almost. I, am, <laughs> I am going to chope that room oh, yeah, before that's a one. someone books it. Uh, yeah. Before someone books it, so I'm going to book the. I'm going to book the room. I'm going to mm. select the room. We're looking for. You a have little. That R. You have little signs on your table. Reserve. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, so oh, it reserve. Means reserve. reserve. Means reserve. So yeah. in Singapore, yeah. you can take a packet of tissue, a pair of sunglasses, an umbrella, anything at a food and place. Reserve. Everyone Choke knows them. that table is taken. Wow. Yeah. And you can leave it there, go and get your food, come back, and it'll still be there. It's the most ridiculous it's thing. Just yeah. <laughs> I'm but not sure works. that's going to work in Australia. No, no. someone, someone will, will walk away. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no one walks away with it in Singapore. Okay. Okay. We'll, we'll give you the count. We'll give you the count. <laughs> All right, next, your, next turn, your turn. Your turn. Okay. Your, your turn, yeah. yeah. Um, Chuck a Yui. 
Oh, oh that, oh, that, that one's easy. easy. Make a U-turn. Come on. Next ah. one. I don't know that. Yo, oh, you, you gave it. it away. You didn't know it? Chuck a Yui? Chuck yeah. a Yui? Oh. No. Oh, sorry. Okay. okay. Oh, I shouldn't say angels, anything. Angels, boy. Okay, next one. <gasps> okay. okay. I, I okay. still don't know what it uh, is. Make a U-turn. Oh, make a Chuck a Yui. Chuck a Yui is a, to make a, a U-turn. The letter Yui. I know Yui, but yeah. Chuck a Yui. Chuck a Yui. Okay. So how do you use that then? Chuck a Yui. In a if sentence. you said to some, if you were driving oh, along with yeah. somebody uh, and you would say, "Yeah, oh, you missed that turn," just chuck a Yui at the next one. Just chuck, chuck a Yui, a Yui yeah. at the next yeah. one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Chuck sorry, I like Glenn play. Okay, <laughs> I, I'll shut up. Okay. okay. Yeah. Bing, bing, bing. Well, round two. Because you know, I'm, I'm just two. as bad as you are when it comes to Singlish. <laughs> okay. Um, paise. <laughs> P-I-S-E-H. Paise. Can you put it in a sentence? Can you put it in a sentence? Okay. It's a feeling. It's like, yeah. uh, you know, I was walking around with my zip down. <laughs> Pisces. Embarrassed? Yes! yes! Well done. Yes. Ooh, it can yes. also be like, you know, well oh, Pisces, I'm late. Like, I'm sorry, I'm late. But my this bad. is, my bad. Okay. Know, this, is a, it, this is Hokkien. So it is, uh, it is a dialect of okay. Chinese. Okay. It's in Hokkien. Yes. Yeah. Why was I clapping for Brandon? <laughs> <laughs> Your go. Everyone's a okay. winner here. We're all getting educated. All Uh-oh. right. Your oh, your phone. Oh, oh it's a lot. It's, okay, it's fine. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, good. No go. worries. All right. Um, um, that that would be your Paise moment. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yeah, indeed. Paise, Paise. Indeed. It's the executive meeting that's about to start. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that, oh it's much more fun here. I can tell you. Um, okay, you're working. You you're still working. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, have a Captain Cook. Oh, I have no idea what that means. Oh. Have a Captain Cook. Sounds like a cocktail. <laughs> Of course mm. it does to you. Captain Cook. Use have it in a, a sentence. Use it in a have sentence. Have a um have a break? No. Go for a break? No. Go for a holiday? Uh Is have a know? beer? No. No? Oh. Sentence? Can you use it in um, a sentence? Yeah. Or is there no sentence? Let's go to the let's go to the mountain and have a Captain Cook. A look of you? Well done. Ah, yes. Okay. Nice okay. One. Angel's so very competitive. Yeah, she likes to win. <laughs> okay. In fact, in fact, before we came up to Australia, we all printed uh, these T-shirts specifically for our trip, uh, and we all have slangs Jesus. on the back. Oh, is it right? Yeah, and yeah. Daphne's got no yeah. wackers on the back. Huh? <laughs> Matt, she'll be apples. My his is she'll be apples. Mine is uh, what's the John Dory? Uh huh. So uh-huh. we all very picked a uh, different uh, rhyming slang. That's phrases. A, that's a lot yeah. Of what we do. Yeah. Okay, one last one. One okay. last one. Okay, last round three. Sh- S H I O K. Show. Sentence. Um, it's a it, it's a feeling. Um, Wait, you can use it for like food a, as well, right? Yeah. yeah. Wow. I don't want to confuse Brendan. Okay. Just, okay. Oh. Let's just go one way. Okay. okay. So, feeling. So if I'm talking about this feeling, um, you know, when I came up here to O'Reilly's Rainforest Retreat, the air was so fresh, I felt. Shook. <laughs> <laughs> Relaxed, calm, serene. No, no. no. We can also say, yeah, can, well, the, the steak that you had last night was shook, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Wonderful, sensational. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Fantastic, yes. great. Yes. Good. It like can be good. used for everything. Okay. Yeah. It can be okay. used for shook. Shook. Yeah. Shook. Yeah. Shook. shook. Yeah. Might use that on my teenage kids tonight. Yeah. yeah. It's so shook. <laughs> shook. You, yeah. You, they think they so have shook, terms, but there's Singlish that you Singlish. can teach them. Absolutely. <laughs> so okay, okay, here I go. Round three, oh, your goodness, turn. I've got think of another one. Jackie can chime in too if you want. Do you have any? Let's hit the frog and toad. Come on, stand up. Oh, no, it's not that T-shirt. Oh. He's got, the, got the, t-shirt. the T-shirt. He's got the T-shirt. <laughs> He's got what got does the t-shirt. it mean? We just... I, 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 I remember, remember it. I remember it. I remember uh, it. Uh, She's got the frog and toad. No, let's, let's, hit, let's the hit the frog and toad. It's, it's kind of like okay, uh, out, ref- a reference to a road trip, maybe? Oh, so let's go. Let's hit the road and go. There let's you go. go. Let's road. hit the road. Let's hit the road. Yeah. Let's hit the road. Let's hit the road. All right. He's got job, that on his everyone. T-shirt. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> nice. Yes. Okay. Oh, thank you for that little oh, education. You're welcome. That certainly uh, caught me <laughs> off uh, guard. <laughs> <That's>, uh, <laughs> so you've learned choke. Game. You've learned choke Chop. and paise. And paise. Yeah. Okay. Paise. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's watching. Right now, I'm going like, oh, Glenn, you guys are useless. useless. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are absolutely yeah. useless. Well, now, well, I'm, I'm not a big fan of Singlish. No. <laughs> it's, it's, it's hard for me. It's a diaspora of all the different languages that, that we have. So as I mentioned earlier, when you speak, when you say one sentence in Singapore, you can be using uh, Hokkien, Malay, uh, English, 
Chinese all at once. And most people would understand? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, everyone yeah. would wow. understand. Wow. It's, it's kind of universal. So wherever you travel, if you find another Singaporean, you can speak Singlish. It's yes. like you can hear their accent yes. from a mile away. Okay. You know? yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, amazing. You guys really don't good. use English like, well, in your daily life? No. No, really? it's not that. It's just that I, I don't like it. We don't use oh. it on air because it's not, it's not, it's oh, not proper English. Okay. Yeah. 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 You know what I mean? You don't we know. like it. No. Yeah. No. Well, that's why we're radio presenters, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, if we spoke Singlish, would we be radio presenters? We would not. Absolutely no, not. No, but I see it as a form of code switching, you know, because I'm Aussie. I was born oh, okay. in Perth, yeah. Okay. But then I, I had to learn Singlish when I moved to, to Singapore. And so it's kind of like another language for me. Like, yeah. it's cool that I can speak Singlish. But you don't speak like Pua Chu Kang, right? The yeah. king of Singlish. <laughs> oh. yeah. I mean, I have certain group, groups of friends that, that I speak just, like that. Yeah, yeah. purely oh, speak right. Singlish. Okay. Yeah. No, I can't. I can't. I, can't I don't have groups of friends that speak like that. Sorry. It's, 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 it's not an insult to anyone. It's, it's, it's almost like you guys, if you spoke in Australian slang with every single sentence that you, that you say, which you don't. Which, you know, I you wouldn't. wouldn't you, no, you'd yeah. pepper it in. Yeah, here and there. If I was at a senior meeting, I wouldn't be using any slang. slang That's slang right. At all. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. I mean, so it's a fun thing, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, but, but it's not universal. No, Let's just put it that yeah. way. No. We wouldn't be able to communicate like this yeah. if we were using... Slang, yeah. Slang, you would, you right. would not understand us if exactly. we were using yeah. Singlish. It's, it's basically a dialect, I would say. Yeah, yeah kind way. of. But there are yeah. some Singaporeans who go abroad and they use Singlish and, you know, everyone's like... Nobody understands. What do you say? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Singaporeans, right. we speak very fast. We speak very, very fast, yeah. Okay, oh. how, how, do we have, uh, we have are we going back okay. on air? Yeah, okay. we're going to go back on air in 40 seconds and, and we'll wrap and you can go for your meeting right after that. <laughs> Fantastic. If we can just ask what your favorite thing about O'Reilly's is. Yeah. yeah. But that on oh. air, on air. Right. Yeah. Stand by. Uh, we've got one or two technical difficulties. I think they've just uh, dropped out for a short while. I'm sure they'll be back in a moment once they get their, their Wi-Fi uh, wi band back. But it has been quite amazing. I, I've visited Queensland many times, but the one place I haven't visited yet is O'Reilly's. And I've got to say that I have to go there. I mean... Just to have breakfast with birds, I think that's just a whole new, whole new education. Uh, but as, as, as we've learned through this entire trip, um, and we're getting the same comments on our, on our Facebook as well, people have never quite realized how much Queensland has to offer and, and how diverse it is, whether, whether you're in the city or you move an hour and 15 minutes out you know, in, in, into into uh, dense rainforest, it is it is a very very diverse state, and and it does offer something for for everyone. And as as uh, even Daphne uh, mentioned earlier this morning, uh, things Daphne like taking there you go. things like taking her mom there uh, to O'Reilly's, and they are actually fitted out to be able to take anybody. I think that's absolutely great. I tell you what, yeah. I think they've got their, their internet back, so we're going to hand you back to the guys at O'Reilly's in Queensland. Oh, he said he's... Are we back? Are we back on? I think we were. Yes, we're like... back on! Ooh, yeah. Sorry for that technical glitch, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We are back with uh, Brendan. Brendan Long, the retreat manager here at O'Reilly's Rainforest Retreat. Yeah, and um, tell, us, tell us why. You, yeah, you, you, you were telling us your favorite thing about O'Reilly's, and we'll let you start from the top again, if yeah, that's okay. Sure, yeah. sure thing. Look, I think the, the variety of what we offer, to me, there's two great things. So easy to get to. Uh, you don't have to fly here specifically if you're on the Gold Coast or Queen, uh, uh, Brisbane, etc. Uh, really easy to get to. You can drive an hour and 15 minutes and you're here. 
And then when you get here, there's so much to do, 35 different bushwalks to do. Uh, we expect you to do all those in the next day or so, <laughs> you guys. Um, we've got everything from massage, as I think I mentioned. I heard on the grapevine that Angel might have had a beautiful massage yesterday. Did we you have, enjoy? I did enjoy it. We yeah. have proof on video as well. Oh, is that right? <laughs> there we go. And then there's kids. We've got a kids program so the kids can uh, be taken off to do nature activities while mum and dad might have a massage or have a nice dinner together or a glass of wine or whatever it might be. Um, and then so many uh, activities that interact with our wildlife, whether it's the wildlife encounter, our birds of prey show, um, our guides take four-wheel drive tours. Uh, we've got a glowworm tour in the evening explaining all about the glowworms. So much to do. And what is your favourite? Oh, my favourite. I think, I think the glowworm tour is really unique, wow. really special, uh, easy to access for any age, whether you're, you're elderly, uh, youngsters, whatever it might be. Great Amazing. experience. I can't wait to come back more oh, and spend more time I'm here. still trying to find out why the worms glow and why do the and mushrooms, mushrooms glow, glow as well. But you know what I'm really <laughs> looking forward to? Our vineyard tour uh -huh. that we're doing right after this, which is O'Reilly's as well, isn't yeah, it? We, we suggest you do that after you've been on air. Oh, yes, yes. So we are. yes absolutely. absolutely. We're wrapping up <laughs> the wines and... Uh, yeah. Yeah. We're headed there for lunch. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Great spot by the creek. You'll love it. Oh, You'll fantastic. Well, thank, thank you, you so much, much once again, Brandon. Thank you very much, uh, you know, for, uh, for managing this retreat, you know, so beautifully. And I look forward to coming back here. We welcome you all back anytime. Thank, thank you. you and any, any other Singaporeans. Thank you so you much, Brandon. You heard that. Thank you. Um, this is Glenn Angel and Daphne coming to you live from O'Reilly's Rainforest Retreat. Thanks for watching.